Today on Insider Impressions, we invited Melissa Hall, founder of The Emerging Designer, to discuss the how-tos of a lookbook. I like to tell designers a lookbook is your selling tool. It's what you send to retailers and press to showcase um, your collection for this season um, or just what you're selling um, at the moment. So first, it should communicate what your brand is, your brand aesthetic and who you are, and that really needs to come through quickly. Uh, it should also be professional looking in terms of the photos, the typeface, and then um, you have to realize that the product is the hero, so um, your product shot should be clear, um, very focused. You know, I don't want to look at and see someone's nail polish or some <laughs> crazy hair, hairstyle. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I just want to see really beautiful product. So the first step is know what product that you want to shoot and have that laid out and, um, you know, have a vision for that. Um, second, have an overall vision. So what do you want hair, makeup, uh, your model to look like? and then um, take that vision and define expectations with your crew. So um, tell them ideally what you want, let them do the work and um, come back with their vision so it works in harmony with each other. Also define expectations on timing, shoot day, etc., along with payment. Um, next is the day of the shoot. Have a run of show, have food, and really make it professional. You're going to have a great team working and everyone is going to leave happy. But it's very important that that day runs smoothly because you don't want overages um, and all the sure. other crazy things that could go um, awry. Um, and then finally, remember, um, you are selling in a dream and you want to sell in your brand. So. Um, create a good lookbook, so make sure um, it's laid out properly, your product is the hero, and again, it's a reflection of your brand. So from a big picture, it's again all about selling the dream. Um, and dreams die, unfortunately, um, first, choosing the wrong model. Uh, I see a lot of people try to save money, maybe they use their friends or someone they know, but it's really not selling in what their brand is. Okay. Um, so that, I guess, um, composition as well of um, how the shot is being taken, so just not simple where the product is not the focus. So, you know, they want a mag they, they're trying to shoot a magazine spread with it when it should be really nice and simple. Um, some other things, just the layout, sometimes the products are just too small. Okay. Um, and, and again, you want that product to be a hero, so lay it out and make it very clear. Um, some other things, um, big files. Big files for people who are looking at um, images and documents on their phone, that's just annoying. Um, you know, when <laughs> you're trying to load, um, you know, load it in and while well, you're trying to do three other things and you don't want someone to get back at it at their desk because a lot of times it's forgotten. Melissa, thank you so much for coming today to give our listeners a thorough understanding of the how to of the book. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching Insider Impressions. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more faces in the fashion industry. Um, I'm a career changer. Uh, I used to work in advertising in Chicago and I worked on food brands and I was like, I do not want to work on food anymore. <laughs> so I took a leap of faith. Um, I got into Parsons and I packed my bags and came here almost eight years ago. Um, I studied design and from there that was, it was kind of it. But the great thing about Parsons is you always have opportunity, you know, and it's New York City at your fingertips. So I started. Um, styling, writing, um, producing events, um, a little bit of everything and um, from being on set to now getting pitched by designers and also selling at trade shows, I've really 
got um, a holistic uh, perspective of a lookbook from how it's produced, how you sell it, and what people are looking for, and also what I'm looking for from a designer.